YouTube. Just working on a Cat 315. Uh, had a grease fitting on the track tensioner. This one to be exact here. That wouldn't come out, that wouldn't take any grease. It's like always just pouring out, and you can see how bad the shape it's in. Anyway, I didn't really see any way to get this out very easily because it has this stupid plate in front of it. So it kind of looks like this. It looks like this in the track. This, this hex head behind the plate, the grease fitting is that long. And it'll give you enough room to get it out from behind and get it out. So uh, I loosened the track. Let's see it. Loosened the track with that nut there, just about one turn around. I seen the idler move and the track collapse. And then I sawed this plate off because there was no way I could get it out without getting this out of the way. I don't know if that's just what I could see. The only way it was, could be done. So, got the new grease fitting in there, greased it up. And then uh, I tightened that back up before I greased it. You turn it once around, one revolution, and that's about it. Tighten it back up, change the grease fitting, put the new grease fitting in. And I'm just gonna leave this off. If there's another way to do this, I really don't think there is. I'd like to know because there wasn't any videos on YouTube about it. So if you ever come across that, I use the use my air saw to get up in there. And it worked like a charm, so yep, that's my spiel on the 320 track tensioner. Uh, like subscribe if this helped you. Thanks guys.